your lip. <laughs> Always ready to blow me down. <laughs> Nicole and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be my Christmas wish list of 2017. So seeing as though Christmas is like literally round the corner, it's this weekend, I think, I can't remember. But seeing as though it's getting really close, I thought I would show you what I'm asking for for Christmas and what I would like off family and stuff but before I get started I just want to say that I am not trying to brag in any way shape or form this is just the stuff that I would like I'm not actually asking for like a big main present this year I'm just asking for like smaller presents and just little stuff so um please don't be offended if I seem like I'm bragging I'm not I'm just sit making this video just in case you would like to ask some stuff for Christmas that I'm asking for and know what I'm asking for And also before I get into this, I just want to let you know that I might start coughing during the video and I'll have to edit this a lot because I keep like almost losing my voice but I'm not really losing my voice and I don't really get why, I think it's just because of the weather but yeah my throat is a bit dry and I'm probably going to have a lot of coughing fits in this video. But um, anyway, without further ado, th 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 further ado. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get into my wish list. Alright, so my first thing, oh by the way, I've got my wish list on the floor here, so I just wrote down some of the things that I'm asking for. But the first thing is the Soap X Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. Now, I already have the highlight palette in her sort of collection, um, and I really want to try the eyeshadow palette because it's got so many good reviews, it's only £10, which is like insane. And the highlight palette, it's really good, and I just wanted to try it because I love Soap and YouTuber and I really want to just get some new eyeshadow palettes and just see what the form is like and see how good it is and I will totally do some looks with it for YouTube. So next I am asking for a few Morphe brushes because I really wanted to try some and I've heard so many good reviews on like certain ones and these are the ones that I've seen like everywhere. Well not really everywhere but like people have like talked about them. So the first one is the M557 mini detail contour brush and I'll put a picture here and this is what it looks like. It's like good for like getting in those cheekbones and good for contour. And the other one is the M501 Pro Pointed Blender Brush and this is an extremely popular brush all over social media. Like it's that one where the highlight brush, like the like it's like a teardrop, like an upside down teardrop shape, but it's that brush and I really want to try it because it just seems such a nice brush for like highlighting and like anything I'm just really wanting to try it because I've heard so many good things about Morphe brushes and they just seem so good and so cheap and worth what they are I'm like yes. next is sort of just a bit like all over the place but I really want some more body shop like skincare and sort of just body shop things because I have not been focusing much on my skin as I usually do like I've it was clear for a while and then it sort of just, I got a few more spots and my redness is like really, it's like it really irritating me at the minute because it's just so annoying where like I have so much redness and like for school I can't cover it up with makeup like I have cleared them today but it's not that good because you can still see that there's a redness and I do have a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturiser which sort of combats it and I have like a primer which combats it and like I use things to try and stop it. But it just, I've heard so many good things like about the body shop tea tree stuff and that's meant to be really good for your skin and um, Soph does nails again, she uses that for redness because she's got like quite a bit of redness on her skin and I thought I might as well try it so that's one of the things that I want but also one of my favourite scents ever and I got it last Christmas and it's just so nice, it's the frosted berry scent and I had the, like the sort of red tub um, try and find the photo again. It's like a red tub and it had a body butter, a bubble bath and I can't think what it was. I think it was a shower gel but I used up the shower gel and the um, bubble bath but I've still got the body butter. I don't actually know where it is. I'll have to look for it. But then my mum did get me the body lotion and this is just 
a really nice smell and I actually gave this um, to my friend Abby I gave her the frosted berries hand cream and she loves the smell like she comes up to me every day and says like I want your hand cream it smells amazing and it honestly smells so nice and it's one of my favourite scents from the body shop because it is so sweet and so nice and I also love the mango scent but this is just like a really nice Christmassy one it just smells like Christmas in a product also for skincare, I really want to try the Clinique, I think it's anti-redness like moisturiser, it's in a tub, but um, yeah, it's, it's you get 50 millilitres for £41, which is insane, like it is so expensive for a moisturiser and I don't know whether to ask it for Christmas because my birthday is like after Christmas, so love to like try it out and see if it actually helps my skin. But it's sort of like so expensive and I don't really want to pay £41 for 50 millilitres, which is like nearly a pound per milliliter. But honestly, I just don't know the dress for it anymore. So next is sort of just like in general like clothes. I want some like new clothes in general and um, one of the things like for example is the new Sofa Does Nails merch and um, it came out last Sunday I think but um, I was like waiting for it to launch at like 8 o'clock I was there and then I said mom um, they've launched some merch this YouTube and she was like oh I'll have a look and I hope that she's bought it for me because it's so nice they've got a hoodie and a jumper and honestly I would totally wear it if I got them and they just look so nice and also a piece of like clothing that I've seen like everywhere like all over the place is um that denim jacket and it's like got sheepskin on the inside like my friend's got one and I love it like it's just so cozy and so warm and so nice and I totally want one of them and also I would like some new jeans because I like it sounds like really bad but I only have like two pairs of jeans like because because I'm quite like I have long legs and jeans usually fit me like around my thighs but then when it gets to the leg I usually get too short and the ones that I have they are from Gap and they are £40 and it's like a bit expensive but I would love to like get some like Levi's or something just something like some new jeans because I want to try some new ones and I've heard good things about like top top jeans or jeans like that but um yeah I would like I would love like sweaters and different tops like the Levi it's like the grey shirt with like the red logo see if I can find it but yeah I really want to wear that one because it just looks so nice. Also I would love a new coat because my coat at the minute is from Primark and it's not actually a good coat and I just want to try a new coat and I really want to get the Calvin Klein like bra and underwear set because that I've just seen it in so many places and like I really want to try it because it would just be nice like to wear for bed like when it's in summer it's just to wear like in general like under stuff I was telling my dad about this and he said that lots of other brands do stuff like Jack Wills, Abercrombie and Fitch and they do loads of different sort of styles of these like bra bralettes and underwear and um, I just want something in general like that like sort of like that style and also one more thing I think this is it because I can't really think of anything else and um, I don't really want to ask for much more, but my phone, I have a case of my phone at the minute, I only have one, it's this like clear case, but it's not exactly clear because my dad accidentally got like a grey tone one because if you look, if you look with the case on and it looks like pinker with the case off, I was looking on Skinny Dip a while ago and I saw the, um, it was Skinny Dip X Starbucks like pumpkin case and it had loads of glittery pumpkins on it but it was still clear and I just want people to be able to see the colour on my phone because it's such a nice colour and it, I just don't want it to be plain anymore like something different so I've asked for that one and I think my dad might have got me it so that's a phone case as well and hopefully I can get it because like I said it, it's not really a nice phone case and one more thing I think this is the last thing like definitely I'm not going to say anything else because I recently um the Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC came out and I was shook because they have two DLCs, they have um, they have like a sword one, trousers, a sword or something and then they have like um, 
the Champions palette, and I so want like the both. I don't, not really bother about the first one, but the second one, I really want to try. And I've been watching it on YouTube, and I shouldn't really because it's like spoilers. But um, anyway, I just really want to get that because it just seems so cool. And I play video games as well. Like I do play video games in my spare time, and I really enjoy it. So I would love to ask for that for Christmas because like. Not only I would get something out of it, but my dad would also get something out of it, so yeah, I would like fast for that because it's like the cool thing. Anyway, I think that's it for my wish list. I'm gonna stop like talking now and stop talking about it because I'll probably think of something else when I stop filming this video, but that's like the basic things that I want. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment video ideas down below some other video ideas and subscribe for more videos from me and if you've already subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell for a notification when I upload and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment below saying what you're asking for Christmas or what you want for Christmas or is there anything on my Christmas list that you would ask for for Christmas thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video or Bye!